Hi everyone the topic of today is ergonomics in furniture design now this word ergonomics is made up of two words first is ergo and the second one is nomos ergo means work and nomos means law laws of work or natural laws so basically ergonomics is a science in which we study about designing different spaces or products or maybe systems when people are using any kind of space product or system it should be comfortable it should be safe it should be efficient for the people who are using them so ergonomics basically becomes a science science of designing spaces of designing products or designing any kind of system to fit the people who use them for example if we are designing a chair for office work then this chair should should solve its purpose of making a person sit very comfortably on it and use his workstation properly for his laptop or his pc if somewhere there is there is a flaw in designing maybe there is a flaw in the dimensioning then this whole system will not be comfortable for a person to use so what we are doing here is we are designing this chair which is a product this chair should be designed in such a way that it becomes comfortable for a person to use for his office work and it should be safe and it should help in making the work more efficient for a person so the definition of ergonomics becomes ergonomics is the science of designing spaces products and systems to fit the people who use them now why is ergonomics important in architecture the very first reason is it reduces discomfort and fatigue now let's say you are studying in the college and you are sitting in your classroom from 9 am to 5 pm and you are asked to sit on a bar stool the whole day will you be comfortable using this stool the whole day no so for that reason we have to design good quality of classroom benches which has proper back support so that it allows you to be comfortable throughout the whole day and there is less of fatigue in your body by using that furniture for the whole day so the first reason it is it reduces fatigue and discomfort the second reason is it enhances productivity and well being now how is the productivity being increased suppose you are working at some office and you have been given so good facilities you have a very good chair you have very good ac system installed you have a good cabin so all of these things will make you comfortable and this comfort zone will ultimately help you in giving good efficiency in your work if you are happy if you are comfortable working then the productivity at your workspace workstation will increase because you are happy you are comfortable and you can do your work very easily and with good flow third point is ensuring functionality now if we are studying ergonomics we have to design the furniture in such a way that it solves its purpose suppose i'm giving a design for my uh, sitting chair which is so low heighted and there is no backrest or maybe a backrest which is at 90 degrees so this kind of furniture will not be uh, used by us oftenly because it's not comfortable it's not functional so that means the purpose of this chair is zero and i might be using this chair as a table or as a ta- laptop table or maybe as some other thing at my home but the purpose for which it was supposed to function like the purpose of a chair is for sitting it is not fulfilling that that means the functionality of my product is zero so functionality of a furniture is important that is why studying ergonomics is important so that you know the basics and you design the furniture in that way now suppose if there are no ergonomics principles followed in your furniture what will happen the very first thing is physical strain in human body now if my furniture is not comfortable i will have pains i will have back aches 
or maybe I have some issues on my lower body. So physical strain to human will be there if the furniture which he's using for sitting or sleeping. The next point is postural issue. If I am sitting on a badly designed chair the whole day, it might affect my backbone and ultimately human health is being sacrificed on this account. So if we get any issues in our posture, that will be because of the chair or the furniture which is not designed according to the ergonomic principles. So this is important. Then is dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction of user. Now, if I have made a bed and it is not even comfortable, it is not comfortable to sleep on, then it will lead to this dissatisfaction to the user. And if he is not getting his sleep properly, he will wake up late in the morning. And ultimately, this will lead to decreased productivity at his workplace or maybe at his home as well, which is our next point. So, dissatisfaction leads to decreased productivity and ill health of the human being as well. So especially in work environments, it's important for us to have ergonomics uh, to be followed in the furniture so as to get maximum of positive results and maximum of efficiency from the workers. Next are the principles of ergonomics in furniture design. Now the very first principle of ergonomics is anthropometry. Anthropometry is a topic that every architect has learnt in his initial semesters. So what we basically do in anthropometry is anthropometry is the study of human body measurements. Now in case of designing, the human body measurement is done to design spaces inside a building or a house so that everything is under under the scale of a human being easily reachable and easily manageable. The dimensions of furniture also are based on the real human sizes. We calculate the average size of a human being. According to that, the height of a furniture is decided, the reach of a furniture is decided and the sitting posture of the furniture is decided. So yeah, anthropometry is important at the time of designing the furniture as well. Suppose if I am designing a table and I have to sit here somewhere, there are certain reach zones that I need to define according to ergonomics. So let's say I'm standing here. So I will have three, three levels of reach zones. First is the primary zone in which I will have my pen, my paper, my keyboard, which is nearest to me. Then comes the secondary zone, which is a little bit far. Then comes the tertiary zone, which I will use very least in my, on my table. So we have primary reach zone, secondary reach zone and tertiary reach zone. These are the zones we have to study while designing furniture such as table at which we have to move our hand to the last point. So anthro is important while designing furniture. Now there are two types of anthropometries. First is the static anthropometry. Static is something stable. And the second one is dynamic in anthropometry. Suppose we have a bed, I have to sleep on it. I don't have to move my body here and there. So that furniture will be designed on the basis of static dimensions according to the anthro. And dynamic anthropometry is the measurements during the movement. For example, while I'm standing at the kitchen slab. So if this is a kitchen slab, this is the lower portion and this is the upper portion, I have to move, I have to open this, I have to open this, I have to work on my gas and then I have to go back to the fridge. So that dimension will actually be a dynamic anthropometry in which you might have studied the Vitruvius man in which we study the whole proportion of a man in terms of his hands, the maximum expanse of our hands, of our legs. So yeah, the, the place where we have to learn about the movement, it will be dynamic and through and the furnitures which are stable we have to study about static and through in that case the second principle of agronomics is comfort now while designing furniture comfort is one of the major factors when we design any kind of furniture because it helps it helps in proper well-being of a human being and since we 
furniture is something that a human being uses for 24/7 we'll have a chair in the morning tables dining dining area for eating so we are using a lot of furniture throughout our day and it is very important for us to have good posture good material and good aura of the area in which we are residing so human comfort is also important suppose uh, if it is a sofa the height should be appropriate the backrest the angle of your backrest must be appropriate around 100 to 110 degrees then the back should have a proper curvy linear s curve support which is called lumbar back support and if you have proper cushioning in your sofa proper texture of your sofa then obviously your furniture will be comfortable but comfort generally is subjective because a bed which is hard might be comfortable for one person and the same bed would not be comfortable for the other person he or she might like a, a cushiony bed so comfort is somewhat subjective but measurable so on an average when we are designing any kind of furniture we should ensure that proper a uh, proper ergonomics is followed good type of material is used which is natural and non toxic which will ultimately lead to a proper comfort zone inside your space the next principle of ergonomics is adjustability adjustability means adjusting your furniture according to the user now you might have seen certain chairs which have a row which have tires on their bottom so it can it can rotate around its tire you can move it here and there so in your offices where you have a plan something like this where you have slabs on the three sides and your chair is placed somewhere here so if i have my computer on this side my files on this side if my chair is not movable it will not be a good kind of furniture for this space because if it's movable movable i can sit on it and then i can move in different directions and it will be easy for me even if i have some other person on the other side i can just move my chair here and interact with him so this adjustability in terms of furniture helps the user to get more comfortable and more efficient workspace adjustability is also in terms of adjusting the height of the chair now in some chairs you might see that you can move this seat chair up and down according to the height of a person now if the height of the chair is fixed it will be used it will be used by less number of people but if it is adjustable then more number of people can use it that means the usability of this whole furniture will be more same goes for your table all the architecture students they must know about the uh, tables on which they make their sheet so every student has different kind of height and it it might not be comfortable for all the people to have a good height of this table so if this table is adjustable if you can change the height of this table or even on this table you can change the angle of this top also so that it's easy for you to make a sheet so yeah if the table is adjustable it can solve its purpose properly so adjustability also becomes one of the very good factors while designing the furniture and it somewhere leads to inclusive design which everyone can use and it 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 increases its sale its workability its production so overall it's good for everyone then next point is reach and accessibility everything that we have in our furniture should be within reach if it is meant to be for example we have a side table side cabinet with our bed now if your side cabinet is is kept far away from your bed then what is the purpose of it the reach zone of this table is so far that i might not be able to put my stuff on it or if i'm getting up at night i want something i have to get up go there so if it is not within a proper reach within my primary zone then it is of no use so there are certain things in which the elements should be within easy reach of a human being and accessibility means it's so that it's easy to assess 
it it should ensure minimal body strains even if we discuss about kitchens and in kitchens the workplaces should be within our reach for example if this is this is your slab these are your downward cabinets and your overhead cabinets are somewhere here now if my height is somewhere here and the height of the upper cabinet is so high that i cannot even reach this area then this ergonomic principle is very is is not good because i have to put one i might have to put one stool and even and then i'll be able to open this this means this cabinet will not be functional i will not keep much of stuff in it because it is very difficult for me to open it again and again because in kitchen you have to work all day so that means i have more of body strain while working in such kind of design so according to different types of furniture we have different type of reach zones which will help us to get proper good type of furniture designs then the next is and the last principle is material and safety every furniture that we are designing must be safe uh, let's let me give you an example suppose uh, you have one bench in your classroom and that that bench has three seats in it and you are standing here you want to go on this side but there is a nail here so if you are walking all the way up here your dress might get cut or maybe your hand maybe somewhere you can get a scratch on your body so if everyone in the class knows that this bench has a nail Uh, nail near it no one will no one will go and sit here because everyone knows about it that means this chair becomes unusable and it's not fit for sitting suppose if you have a a very sharp edge then also it's not safe so if the material is not safe it is not meant to be used suppose you are buying a chair and that chair is a very low quality plastic you have kept it for 3 to 4 days in the sun and the next day when you sit on the chair you just fell off so that is not a good design in which the safety of a person is not uh, being kept in mind you should always think about the safety of the user while making any kind of furniture and about the material nowadays since we are focusing so much on sustainable materials it is always advised to use non toxic materials because nowadays there are so many polymers in the market that are being used which are cheaper but they are not good for human health they produce so much of fumes and they have so much of small harmful particles which might affect the human body in long run so it is always advised to use certain kind of materials like fiber which are good for human health so yeah these were the five types uh, five principles of ergonomics that you must follow while designing any kind of furniture material reach and accessibility adjustability comfort anthropometry and ergonomics is very important while design and ergonomics ergonomics is not only for designing products or furniture it is also it is also used while designing any kind of space or any kind of policy or system in which we can work according to the rule which benefits the whole human race Yeah thank you that was all for today and in the next lecture we'll study about the common rules of ergonomics for uh, basic furnitures that we have in our areas like chairs tables beds dining tables working stations so we'll discuss about the detailed dimensions of every furniture thank you